I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. These are the Razer Thresher Ultimate wireless gaming headphones, and they're pretty much the best gaming headphones you can buy right now. And I'm gonna explain why I love them so much. I've been using gaming headphones like this for several years now, from Turtle Beach and Astro, and the complete package that you get here from Razer really stands out and gives you something special. So first off, they sound really great. You get 7.1 surround. So even though you're wearing headphones, it sounds like you're using a more room-filling stereo system, and that gives you an edge while playing games like Call of Duty and Overwatch. You're gonna be able to hear footsteps while using it for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and for the Call of Duty World War II beta, I could hear people coming around corners, and it really gives you an edge that a lot of other gamers won't get if they're playing with TV speakers or just stereo speakers or even with the sound bar. So you're gonna be more immersed. Now, another thing that's great, these are very comfortable and very durable. They have a nice kind of suspension right here so that you're, they're not weighing on your head and these leatherette memory foam cushions just kind of sink into your ear. Now I normally game with uh, glasses on and these don't push them into the sides of my head. I can actually wear these headphones for three or four hours with only a short break to grab something and a drink and they are still comfortable at the end, which is something that doesn't always happen with gaming headsets. A lot of them are too tight and you kind of get this like pain in your ears after you wear them for a really long time. Now, one catch to these headphones is there's no 3.5 millimeter jack or Bluetooth. So you have to use them with your Xbox or with a PC. And you can get these in a PlayStation 4 version and that you can use with the PS4 or with your PC. You have to buy the console specific version to get that 7.1 surround sound. Now with these headphones, they are kind of large. I don't care because I'm not ever going to take them with me because we don't have those other connection options. These are designed for me to stay in my game room and if I'm gonna take them somewhere, I'm probably gonna be hauling a PC or an Xbox One. So I'm already gonna have something to carry, which that's not gonna bother me. Now, you'll notice that these light up on the edges. It's not Razer Chroma, so you can't customize that. You either get green for Xbox or blue for PS4. It's still pretty nice. Other than that, you have independent controls for chat and volume on the bottom. So you're able to find that right mix so that you can hear who you are gaming with, whether you're taunting the enemy in Madden or you are trying to coordinate with team members in a first person shooter, you're gonna be able to make that mix perfect so you can still hear the game and get really immersed that way. There's a power button, charges via micro USB. You get about 16 hours of battery life. The only thing I don't like about battery life is there's no indicator. So if you're gaming, you'll get an indication when battery life is basically out instead of one to let you know like, hey, you only have four hours left. Uh, Plantronics does it really great on all of their headphones. When you turn them on, it tells you about how much battery life you have left. And I get that that's kind of complicated, but it'd be really handy. If you just get into the habit of charging these every time, you'll be fine. So these are truly wireless. So right now they're connected to the Xbox and I can game with them. And if I want to talk to someone, I just pull out the little microphone from here. So when it's in, it's muted. So I don't have to worry about other people hearing me. And when I'm ready to play with other people, I just pull it out and right here, I can chat. I don't have to worry about cords getting in the way or plugging anything into my controller, which can be a hassle with a lot of gaming headphones because then even if it's wireless for sound, if you want to chat, you're dealing with this cord the whole time you're playing and it gets really frustrating. So I really appreciate the truly wireless design. It's something that we're seeing on a lot of headphones in this price range. These are $249 and after using them for about two months, they're definitely worth it. They're built really well and they have a nice base station. They connect to your Xbox One or your PS4 over USB and a, an optical cable. So easy to set up, easy to use, really great. You can head over to Gotta Be Mobile to check out more and link is in the description to buy these as well as to read our full review. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com.